Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Ann and I'm here to tell you about what I'm taking on my Tahoe Rim Trail through hike that starts in less than two days. This Tahoe Rim Trail circumvents the Lake Tahoe in California. It's approximately 170 miles of uh, High Sierra Bliss. And I'm going with a couple other friends of mine. And I hope that you will stay tuned because I'll be putting together some videos or a video on our hike and our adventure on that coming up soon. In the meantime, I thought I would share what I'm bringing on this hike. This is my backpack. It is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 3400, and I have it loaded. So let's start going through what's in my pack. To start, I have two hiking poles. These are Foxelli carbon fiber poles. Um, I need these for two things. One is to save my old hips, and the other is uh, to hold up my tent. I have a poleless tent that I'll show you in a bit because it's buried inside. This is a Gossamer Gear umbrella. I can put this over my head and I'll be nice and cool and, um, and it works really great. So that's going with me. This is my backpack. It is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 3400 and I have it loaded. So let's start going through what's in my pack. All right, first things. My camp shoes, water crossing shoes. These are the Zero sandals. They're super lightweight. And it's nice because you can wear socks with them and uh, they're very comfortable. I have <laughs> about two pounds worth of batteries, a power bank, some extra memory cards for some of my electronics. Um, I will be shooting with an iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max and then I have a GoPro Hero 9 and a GoPro Max 360 that will be accompanying me on this trip. If you're not filming, you won't require this and you'll save a couple pounds. I have, of course, a map of the Tahoe Rim Trail. Um, that's gonna come in handy. And one of the best resources I have found is a second edition of the Tahoe Rim Trail uh, pocket at atlas and it's uh, made done by eric the black um, you can get this online this is very good they all he also does them for a lot of the other big trails the john muir trail the pacific crest trail the continental divide trail Appalachian trail etc but i have marked out on here with the little stickies what day we will be um, on each section because our itinerary does not match what he starts so we're going to be starting at kingsbury south and hiking clockwise around the lake. Important, a Garmin in reach. This could be a lifesaver, and I will be using this to track where I'm at, to communicate with my loved ones, and um, hopefully never have to use the SOS button. A Katadyne water filtration system, uh, the gravity system, I love this. It's so awesome to be able to put water, hang it up, and let gravity feed it through the filter and fill up my water bottles. I also have, in addition to the three liters to filter, um, I will use this three liter um, bladder because we have a couple of very long carries where there's no water. We're gonna be hiking along the rim of, the Ta of Lake Tahoe and because this is such a dry year on in California, there's not a lot of seasonal lakes or creeks that are um, that have water right now. So we've got at least two dry camps and that three liters is gonna come in mighty handy. Of course, I have my first aid or my emergency kit, which includes first aid supplies. Um, I have some medications like ibuprofen, Imodium and things like that. I also have bandages in case someone gets injured and I have Leuco tape. Uh, that came in really handy when I did the High Sierra Trail and on day four I sprained my ankle and had to walk another 35 miles on it. That was not fun. So it can be a, a hike saver for sure. Uh, mosquitoes are out. They're out in force and 
I'm expecting that they're going to want to eat on me, so I have some 100% DEET. I've noticed that the permethrin doesn't seem to, all my clothes are treated with that, the permethrin doesn't seem to do the job, so I brought some DEET to spray on the little buggers so they stay off me. I have my bathroom kit. In here I have a deuce of spades trowel. I have a baggie that I use for used toilet paper. I hope you all are, try, are taking out, packing out your used toilet paper. I know it sounds gross, but there is nothing worse than seeing toilet paper all over the forest floor and dookie on it. So please take out your stuff, okay? Um, I also have some hand sanitizer and some wet wipes. They all, everything that is paper product will come out with me. And I have a dark plastic um, Ziploc bag. It looks like a Ziploc bag that you can't see through that I'll be putting my used TP in. So, and I have additional bags in my resupply. So over here, I have my, if I can get this out, I have my tripod with a really awesome thing here. This is a snap mount. Um, what's beautiful about this is it's interchangeable. I put my iPhone on here. I can snap it here. I have one that is a neck mount that I'll show in a sec. I can actually put it here. I can put it on a pack strap. I can put it on a limb where the limb goes in between here and you snap it to it and it'll hold the camera there. This works really well. The tripod does extend a little bit, um, but this is super small. It weighs a little over a pound and it's worth the sacrifice, especially when I'm doing low light photography. So that is awesome. I have water bottle. I will have another water, bo water bottle on this side. I use this for my electrolytes. I found this little gem on Amazon and a couple of years ago I've looked for it since and I can't seem to find the same model. They discontinued it, but this thing works so well. I have a tendency to not drink enough water and this really helped because it's so convenient. I don't have to reach around in my pack and, you know, get all contorted in order to pull the water bottle out or bug someone to take my water out. So this is a lifesaver. I don't like using a bladder. I had an issue a couple hikes ago where I was using a bladder. I didn't realize I did not have enough and I ran out and I still had four miles in the hot sun in a canyon and it was the most unpleasant thing I think I've ever experienced. You don't want to get dehydrated out there. So this is what I use. Um, okay, I think I've got one more thing here. A mosquito head nut. The mosquitoes are out. It is early summer and they're especially hungry now. So I'm going to be using that, I'm sure, when we come into camp. I also have a little handkerchief here from Sequoia National Park. Um, I use this for several things. One is to wipe off the sweat. Um, if I'm not wearing my sun shirt, I want to, you know, maybe wet it down. I can put it around my neck. There's a lot of uses for this. So, um, or at night I can cover my eyes to keep the moon out. So the moonlight, we're going to have a full moon on our hike too. So that will be pleasant. I'm sure. All right. Inside. Oh, one more thing. I'll turn this around. So on the front I have, I don't know if you can see this, so I'll pull it up. I have a, a holder here for another bottle of water. I'll probably have regular water in this because I put electrolytes in my other one because I drink that more. And then I also have my Max 360 mounted here. These are just little bungee cords that I use and they work really well to keep it kind of hanging here tight so it doesn't flap all over the place and it's easily accessible. In my pockets, I have lip balm. It's uh, got a SPF with it because your lips will get fried. Uh, apparently I need to blow my nose a lot because I have two things of Kleenex. I'll have to clean that out. And then in here I put my my car keys, my f uh, credit cards, some cash, etc. Um, that will go in there. And then once I'm uh, in, you know, at night, I'll put it in my um, in my bear canister. So, oh, I keep an extra quarter in there because a coin is required to open my bear canister. So I have lost my coins and had to find something that would let me get in. 
Um, here I have my GoPro. So I was mentioning my neck mount. This thing is awesome. I use this to keep it protected. I don't want to scratch the lens, but this goes around your neck. And you can do one of two things. So this pops off and you can use it like this and like put it across your sternum strap and then you can click it here and it will hold it and you can modify this so if you want it to be higher or lower like if you're going uphill you want it to be up higher if you're going downhill you can turn it down lower so it works really well i'm thrilled with this system uh, i've been using it now for i don't know about six months or so and i can't imagine having lived without it all right so i've gone through all the external stuff i also have an x light pad that you'll see here um, I use this for, I like to keep it on the outside because if I'm like taking a midday, midday break, I want to stretch out or something, this thing comes in so handy. have my sunglass case. I don't want to mess up my Maui gems. So they've been, I've had these things for like five years. I just love these things. So I have my tent stakes. I have my rain jacket. And out of all of the times that I have been on backpacking trips, the longest one was seven days when I did the High Sierra Trail, I have not needed to use this thing, even though snow or thunderstorms were in the forecast. Thunderstorms are in the forecast the first two days that we're out. So we'll see if I need it. I hope I didn't just jinx myself by saying that, but I wouldn't mind a thunderstorm or two, as long as, you know, it's not too bad. I have a piece of Tyvek that I use. Um, I keep this at the top of my pack because I like to lay this on the ground. I can dump my pack and everything else on it as I'm unpacking uh, before I set up my tent. And then once I set up my tent, this goes under the vestibule and I like to put my shoes and whatever else that, you know, I'm gonna leave on the outside of my tent. And it keeps everything a little cleaner and then you only have to worry about this. Hyperlite Mountain Gear Dirigo 2 that I love. I've had this for over a year, year and a half now. It's a great tent. It's big enough for me to bring all of my paraphernalia into the tent um, because I have a lot of camera gear, um, usually more than what I'm taking this on this trip, but um, it fits that and I have plenty of room to move around and, you know, fight bears if I need to. All right, now for my, one of my favorite items when I get into camp, it's a Helinox Chair Zero. Uh, it weighs less than a pound without the stuff sack. So I have this little zip, or what do you call it, uh, Velcro thing to keep it tight. But this is like really makes me happy at the end of the day. I know it weighs a pound, but I'm willing to sacrifice that in order to have something to rest my back against. So when you get old, you need this. I have my Nemo Tensor sleeping pad. Uh, this thing works really well. I like that it ha has a little extra padding in it for my hips. So this in combination with the Thermarest is a really comfortable sleep. Mountain Hardware down puffy. Sorry, this is not cooperating. So I don't know that I'll need this very often, but you never know. The Sierras can be very fickle. It could be 70 degrees one day and 50 the next. So I'll be prepared. The next item up is my bear canister. So I will be carrying a bear canister throughout this hike. I know a lot of people don't like carrying them. They are not required on the Tahoe Rim Trail. However, I've seen a lot of like ursacs that have been shredded by some of these black bears. Uh, Yogi is pretty smart up there and you know, you don't want to be out in the middle like five days out on your hike and then lose all your food because a bear slobbered and chewed on it. So I'm planning to put uh, all of my food in here. Um, in addition to a few other items, I have my earplugs. These will probably go obviously come out at night, but I don't need them during the day. So they will be inside here. I keep all of my cables, my charging cables in here. I've got quite a few things to charge. My spoon, which I love. A towel to dry off because I'm planning on taking a few baths in some lakes when we get to them some sunblock although i won't be using that as much i have a sun shirt that i wear pretty much all day i have a headlamp i have some moisturizer 
and I have a little collapsible cup, which we'll see how often I use that. But that's everything that's extra in my bear canister other than food. And finally, last but not least, we have my waterproof compression sack that contains a, okay, two pillows. <laughs> One of them is rather fluffy that takes up about this much room. I have my sleeping clothes, a change of socks, underwear, and a buff, and then my enlightened equipment, um, Revelation 20 degree down quilt, which is one of my favorite things that I have purchased. It works really well. It's 20 ounces, I think. So um, I have only been cold in it once and that was when I went winter camping and I did not bring enough layers. So that was rather dumb of me, but it serves, has served me well. I've had this for like three years, I think. So that is everything in my backpack. So I thought I would talk briefly about what I'm wearing. So I have some new kicks. These are the um, Ultra Lone Peak 5s. I've been wearing the 4.5, but I thought I would try these. They've gotten really great reviews. So, uh, and I like the purple color. I mean, geez. And look, they even match my Dirty Girl Gators, which I never hike without. I will of course be wearing the Ininji toe socks. There's two, I dropped one. Uh, these work really great. I have, I'm not gonna say it, but so far, no issues with my feet. I'm not gonna talk about the blister thing. Um, I wear sun gloves to protect my hands. I have my Pacific Crest Trail hat that I won in a raffle that I love. And this was deposited on me no poop either. It was just the feather by a raven when I was in Yosemite hiking Half Dome. So that's got to go with me. I hope it's good luck. And then last but not least, or almost last but not least, I have my sun shirt. Um, this is an ex officio, soul cool, whatever, blah, 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 sun shirt. It's got a hood on it. I really like using this because I hate, hate, hate with a passion sunblock. And this allows me to avoid putting that on my face. Well, I still put it on my face, but on my arms and et cetera. I wear leggings. So pretty much 98% of me is covered up with the exception of this and my fingertips. So um, I've worn this several times, even in some pretty hot weather and it works really well. It seems like when you sweat, it actually has a cooling effect. And I really like that. So I've got that. And finally, my, my knife. I like to wear this around my neck. It's always accessible and it's super sharp and no bears better could come in at me. So actually, I think I worry more about people than I do bears. So, um, so that is it for what is in my backpack. So I'd briefly like to go over my food. Um, I am on the ketogenic diet. I have been for quite some time. Um, it works really well for me. And um, I'm also pretty thrilled because my, my weight for the amount of food that I'm taking is quite a bit less. So in order to keep me fueled, I will be taking a lot of nut butters. I love the Trader Joe's olives. As you can see, I've got probably 40 packets here. Um, not that many, but I have a lot of packets of olives. Um, the green ones especially are my favorites. The Kalamata are very good as well. I have some bars. Um, I like the Zing and Go Good To Go bars. These are kind of a new addition to my, um, to my menu. I'm, so I'm kind of looking forward to these. I did taste them to make sure that I like them before I take them out on the trail and they're pretty good. So, and they don't melt. That's the worst part is when you are eating a lot of fat, everything melts all over. So uh, you have to be kind of careful. So I have some jerky. I have some, a lot of almonds, uh, seasoned almonds by Legendary. I like all their flavors. They're all delicious. Um, a few beef, beef sticks. Um, I have Zip Fizz that I'll be using in the mornings uh, to give me that caffeine fix. Uh, we're gonna be starting the trail pretty early in the morning between six and 6.30. And um, that is because it is freaking hotter than Hades here in California. 
even in the Sierra. I was up in Tahoe uh, last week and it was like 90 degrees and that's really hot for that area. So to that end, I'm also going to make sure that I get plenty of electrolytes. That's key on a ketogenic diet. And I am thrilled with these LMNT electrolytes. Um, they have the highest ratio of calcium, magnesium, and potassium, and they work really well for me. I sweat a lot, and this helps to keep things replenished. They also have a new flavor, watermelon. Oh my God, it is so good. So it's like, it's like eating salted watermelon, only you're drinking it. It's my favorite, but they have other flavors as well. Other than that, I have a couple bags of pickles, which are shelf stable. I'm going to be trying those out. Hopefully they'll taste good. My taste buds when I'm out on trail seems to be a little weird. So we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully I like them and not just packing them and looking at them every day, wishing I didn't pack them. So if you have any questions about any of my gear or any of my food or about this trail, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. I will get to you and answer you as soon as I possibly can. I think I'm going to have a signal here and there up in Tahoe. So if it comes in after I have posted this video, I'll try and reply to you and um, check back in a few weeks. I will have at least part one of my adventure with my friends uh, posted on YouTube. So uh, if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. And for immediate notifications, hit that little bell and you'll receive a notification every time I post a video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. And um, I hope to hear from you. Thanks.